Welcome to the Low Country. <laughs> Day after relic show. Out Mike. John Boy over there. Got Marshall out too. What'd you get? I finally got on the board with a button. I've been doing some teaching this morning. Not teaching me now. <laughs> teaching you what a bail seal is. It's <laughs> a big time bag. <laughs> Called it. Big guy though. It is a big one. John Boy's got a big old ball thingy and a D buckle. He's playing with the, the B's and the D's. <laughs> 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 Marshall went across to the causeway. <laughs> He's over there somewhere learning with his new Equinox 900. Beautiful area though. We'll come back. What do you think? Oh, you got a little coke too? Yeah, I think I got a fire coke. Mine's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! 1600s, early 1700s. Nice one. Knee buckle, probably. What you got over there, John Boy? Hey, Billy. Uh, I can't see you, so you're too far to walk to. Oh, no, I see you. <laughs> Are you on this other causeway? We're out here having fun. And there's my headphones disconnecting because I walked too far. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Pew. Spot change. Huh? There's Marshall. <laughs> What'd you got? Musky. Is that a fishing weight too? Yeah. So that one looks like it was turned into a fishing weight. It's got a hole through it. <laughs> Caleb's over there somewhere. John's somewhere. And... We're going to be finding stuff. Marsh got himself a fire musket ball. First musket ball. First musket ball. See how it's all nice and flat, but still around. Fire musket ball. Brand new 900 pulling it out. It was a lot of fun. Booyah. Okay. Well, we'll catch up. I got a piece of trigger guard. Big old brass thingy. And... Take a bunch of the pieces that were missing from the side right next to it. Marshall's over there. I don't know where the rest of the boys are. They're somewhere around here. But we out here crushing it. Super shiny flats. <laughs> Catch up. Another button, whatever this thing is. Sort of something. I do too. Oh, and uh, whatever that big old brass thing is. Quick catch up. John's got a pile of shit already. <laughs> Typical John. There's more. Yeah, he ran off the second we we got here. God damn. <laughs> He's still going. What's this thing? All of this is from. That's what I was looking at. I dug that. That was the very first thing that I dug when I walked in here. Maybe. Bayonet. Bayonet. Maybe. He's crushing me. <laughs> Copper. Crushing all of us. Oh no. Screw your stuff. I dug a button out of one hole that was already <laughs> open up there. Yeah. When we first got here, that uh, was like, well, he saw it. It was like button, 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 uh, uh, gun, lock plate, whatever this thing is. It was like fucking pewter coated copper. Huh. And it had something on it, but it fell belt apart tip. almost immediately. It a belt tip. Mm -hmm. It might be for a scabbard, though. A scabbard belt tip. Oh, that's cool. Almost all that shit came out of a five by five spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of spots up there. Yeah, it's just coming down the hill. It's literally like right up there. He's been doing... spending some time teaching, giving away signals. What you got? Doing all right. Yeah, he's doing good. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but belt, iron buckle. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
Boone. Smallies. Nice. Yeah. Now he's got a musket ball and big old like one of those like <laughs> they're chode looking things that we dig that like look like a fishing weight, but they like could be like a snuff or something. I don't know. We got one of those and then a couple other things. And... Uh -uh. No, Mike. I hadn't seen Mike. He got a US bit boss. Did he? Out of this creek over here in the sand. Hell yeah. Good for him. That's where I'm going. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get back to it. Yeah. There we go. Might be whole. Yeah, it is whole. Nice trigger guard, dude. Oh, it's a trigger guard. No, it's full trigger guard. No, there are no screws in it. Nah. They would have attached like that. Yeah. That's a trigger guard. Whole trigger oh, guard. It's better than what I thought it was. <laughs> there you go. Hell yeah. He's got a nice tomback button. Yeah, I can beat that flat and use it on a gun. Yeah, he can reuse that for sure. I've, sometimes I build this one once. <laughs> yeah. I built a few of them. Uh, apparently, Mike got a U.S. Uh, bit boss out of the creek over here. Um, we're probably going to jump over to the other side of this little action over here and then see what else we find. John's got handfuls of stuff over there. Um, just hitting this hillside right here. Um, I just dug a 22 shell. <laughs> Nothing special. But uh, we've dug musket parts over there, too. We just hadn't really been back down in this area. Not sure where Mike got to, but that was a sick trigger guard. He's got a nice tomback button, too. Yeah, just met up with Mike. He's got an apoth... I can't talk. It's a big weight, yeah. Big weight like I dug over... Um, I guess it was over there at Hill House. That's sick. You don't find these a lot. I bet mine stacks inside of it. And then... Ooh, nice. Good job, dude. Those are badass as hell. Check it out. Yeah. I was hoping you were going to tell me that was some sort of like uh These are rare. Base, base to a fucking uh, mortar or something. This is way more rare than that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Show him you're you're fine. You're going to shit over this one. Yeah. Yeah. Tag. Nah. Okay. Almost as cool. <laughs> Hole and engraved. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? John's got pocket fulls of stuff. Would, I, would you take that to a wire wheel and clean it up? No. Nah, you might want to run electrolysis on it, but yeah, these are super rare, dude. You don't find these very often. I've only found one that's like this. I bet mine fits inside of it, though. I was hoping it was silver. It was <laughs> I bet silver. it sounded like it. <laughs> it was really loud. <laughs> All right. Well, we out here crushing it. I need to get on the board with some better stuff. Just don't. Throw. <laughs> Mike and Caleb and John have all disappeared again. Marshall's up the hill from me. Might have found a barrel. I can't get it out. But I just found a button and a little bit thimble. Pretty cool. Check out this beautiful creek, though. Just dug a time back button out of that little ball. How pretty is this? It goes uphill that way. Just beautiful area. Um, Catching up with Mike. Finally ran into them. I don't know where Caleb and John went. Marshall's probably back towards the main brick pile. But yeah, there's a big brick pile over there. And then there's one over there. And then there's one over there. Uh, well, there's that. Yep. Nice stirrup. Um, oh, that's a cool one. Look at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. It's broke. Yeah. But it is. I work for it. And then this, let's see if you can tell me what this is. So it's got string on it, it's got a pin on it, uh -huh. and it's kind of shaped like a syringe, and it still comes apart. Huh. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a syringe. So, but I don't know if it is a syringe, but it still comes apart. Does that look like gunpowder? Kind of smells like it. Is that a fucking pistol? I don't know. Powder flask? I don't know. I think it wouldn't have that edge on it. What's the pin for? I don't... Oh, wow. What? I don't know. But that was, a, that was at the base of a tree. Huh. And I found a little pistol ball. Next to it. From it. <laughs> um, so I just put that in there. So it I dug a couple buttons by the holes that you had dug down there by the creek. <laughs> and a thimble. So I dug this slick guy just now, just before I heard your... It's a uh, weird, nice. It's a weird two-piece. It's like a tomback-looking... 
two-piece. Is it two-piece? Hmm. Super thick. Yeah, it's cool. And that's how it wiped off. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Now that I've... It looks like there that scabbard tip or belt tip might have some stuff on it. Yeah. There's my thimble. I got this big bastard. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice leather endorsement. Yeah. Those are cool. That's I love those. Water. Where yeah. The creek pile, I drip, walk down the hill. Uh-huh. Down to the creek. Yeah. Right there at the bottom of the creek. That's a cool one. I don't know where those weird XP guys got off to. <laughs> <laughs> They're off doing weird XP shit. I feel like there's something else. I think I dug a barrel, but I can't get it out of the root. But it's like. We didn't get to see that from the last spot. Oh, uh, yeah. Random bit. That I thing's cool. I had something that had writing on it. I don't remember what hole I dropped it in, though. <laughs> Maybe that was it. Got something right there. Oh, it's a lock slide. Yeah, it had a piece of it says patent on it. Did it? Yeah, um, it's a lock cut hole cover slide for a pad, uh, padlock. All right, well, we're gonna get back to it then. Got part of a spectacle of buckles. I heard somebody walking up on us. Still don't know where John and Caleb went. I probably found in all the stuff. Mike just found this really cool thingy. I think it might be a purple, maybe? I don't know. It's cool. I never seen one like that. Nice. High five, I didn't hit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're hitting this old plantation site right here. There's a brick pile right there bunch of old stuff back here and glass and all kinds of fun stuff so come back we find anything else huh? so ants are normally a good sign i find a lot of cool stuff in ants all right huh they're just little ants so what what's in think, the clump what do we think it is <laughs> is it a gw scoop uh-oh <laughs> big old button Tom back or is it something cool? I don't know if that's even a button. Big coin? It's too thin. Too thin. It's a... Oh, it's got a hole in it. Square hole. I don't know what that is. Keyhole? Yeah. Possibly. It's gone now. Ah, it's British though back. Yeah. <laughs> Another buckle. Thought I found another tickler. It's got a hole in the side, but the cone is solid at the end. Huh. I don't know. We don't find a lot of trade stuff down here. <laughs> so archaeologists holes? confirmed. Okay. On both sides. I see it now. It's an aglet. Aglet. <laughs> Score. This is like the, the third one like this that I've found in like a month now. Wow. I found one out at Mike's spot and then one out when we I went out that whole night over at Hill House and then one out here. Well they can be like more European. Yeah. At a site like this, that's gonna be native. Heck yeah. What you got? Is it a little hat? Huh. Strange one. Huh? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> More trade stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Baby spoon bowl. Big old scallop on it. That's super cool. Fucking seam line along the back. I just, just found this. Oh yeah, it is. That's exactly what it is, dude. 
What? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, That's gotta be. I don't know. There's literally no other reason. Right? Why else would it have that, like, lead around it? I think that's a button in a mold. It looks like there's something on it, too. They were trying to make a mold of whatever the button was. Oh, yeah. And then it got stuck in there, and they probably just left it in the fire. Holy crap, dude. Oh. I think it's a button stuck in a lead mold. I think it is, too. Oh, that's cool. You do not see that. No! You do not see that. Also, I stopped the archaeologist. Oh, yeah? With what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! I know, right? Look. Sword end? Hole inside, two holes in the I top. I said maybe a sword end, but why would it have those? Pommel? I think that's broken. It could be a pommel. I think it's a pommel. I think that's a pommel. Yeah. I can see that. It's heavy enough. Yeah. I wonder if that, you can see what's on that. We're finally getting into stuff and like we gotta go. <laughs> Dude, that's that is gold right there. It's like silvery looking too, isn't it? Mm hmm It's a pewter button stuck in lead. <laughs> that's what makes me say it's a metal. I wanna rinse it off. Two totally different types of metal. All right. Alright, well we'll see what it is. To find some cool stuff. It's a lead ball that hit a tree. <laughs> it's a lead ball that hit a soldier's button and then it stopped it and the guy lived. Yeah. Not really. <laughs>